Oh wow, he's oh, just branches. watching it. He's getting frustrated. I like the Euro oh. step behind the back dunk. Oh no. No! <laughs> <laughs> you guys hear what he's saying? Oh. Who is this guy? Joey, they're picking on you today, buddy. I feel bad for you. Can I request some FB bloopers next time? We get sent to the job. <laughs> Fudge. Fudge. That's what we say. That's my way to shoot a Cowley club. You should be on the US National Ride Cup. Oh, wow. there there they go. No, that's not what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> At what point is Joseph DeMar going to say, hey, I'm going to be on time for a podcast? I'm going to show up. He sent nine. He has sent nine messages into the group chat since 6.02, which he was already two minutes late at that point. He's now sent nine messages, none of which have anything to do with the podcast, by the way. Yeah. Oh, hey, Joseph. Joe. What time is it, Joe? Well, 3.07. I've been on over a, a minute and a half. Fellas. Big week ahead, a lot of content. We got our big guest, Sebastian Maniscalco, will be joining the program, which is terrific. Very excited about that. One of the better comedians out doing it right now. Am I wrong? Not Could wrong. Be, right? so. You're not wrong. Ticket's a ticket's a big Maniscalco guy. Sure yeah, is. I'm closeted. Yeah. I'm a and I, I don't think it's closeted. closeted. You you were you were running us down left, right, Listen, and center down Broadway is about listening to every time. episode of the podcast. A big fan? I guess so. I mean, you tell okay. me. You do, you do listen to Sebastian and Pete every single episode, no? The Sebastian show, that's absolutely right. I want to get a thing of ticket on the green with Menescalco. Like, behind mm. him, like, Manzelish like photo. And then sure. I would like, at some point, we could get a collage of, like, all the people that Tick's been on the green with. And yeah, office. I was just talking about that for some time now. That's going to go in his tough. office in Florida. That yes. would be sick. That's Ticket, you don't have an office in Florida? Barely going to have a room, dog. <laughs> oh, come on, oh, wait, that's, man. That's big breaking news, by the way. If if uh, I may, the, the, the Ticket and Binyamin have decided, you know what? We're going to bunk up first month of Florida. Let's see how yeah. that thing runs and take it from there. Ticket, take me through your thoughts on deciding to bunk <laughs> with Madman himself. I'm 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 excited. I'm also worried. I've made a massive, massive mistake. <laughs> because I, I think when we first get there, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm worried about week two when we really settle in. He he's had enough of the pleasantries, and he's just going to be locked in his room. He's going to come out, get something. I'm going to be like, "Hey, what's up?" He's like, "Do not talk to me." Don't talk to me. Will and you guys, I'm, ner I'm, ner I'm nervous. I'm going to be walking on eggshells in a place that I put half the money in. No, then, then, hold on. Not your home. Oh, whoa. You'll you'll, 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 you, you boys will link up at feeding time. You guys <laughs> yeah, that's, at feeding time. That is <laughs> my biggest of, concern you because you of watering hole. buffaloes at the fucking Serengeti watering hole, dude. <laughs> that's you my biggest are concern. Talk to each other all day, and then you're going to be like, um, you going to. Doing the Uber Eats? Like, it'll be yeah, a this ticket. It'll be a, this it'll is be a the year you bulk too. up. It'll be a this text is... from room to room. Like, you hungry? We play yeah. Well, this is the year yeah. that Tick's supposed to get shredded. And I don't know if, like, funking with Binyamin, those late night Ooh. eats, if that's going to be. Well, Yamin is also. Uh, mm, it's it's day, half yeah. a meal. He eats 800 calories a day now. It's, so I actually think he'll be a good influence on me in not, that. Are you, it, are you on the air diet, Yamin? Not if you I, saw what I saw yesterday, Dick. <laughs> it was not an 800 calorie well, day. Hey, listen, what? everybody, but everybody knows that the new year doesn't start until January 2nd. So yesterday was the last day of 2023. Um, My guy got a double scoop from Baskin Robbins. <laughs> so oh. this, this guy's talking as if he wasn't like, like facilitating it? all of it. He almost gotta forced have me, it. He forced me to get the double scoop so he could feel better about his triple scoop in the waffle cone. <laughs> did, I that. I I saw, have... did I see like a salted caramel with a sherbet on top it of it? Off. It was a. Uh, it was How a did you see that, Pete? <laughs> I got a picture. <laughs> it was a. Uh, it was a like Reese's peanut butter cup ice cream. They called it, and then uh, two scoops of rainbow sherbet, which is like a wild That's mix. The wildest mix cone <laughs> I've ever heard. Paid the extra dollar fifty for the dry ice too. The tickets. <laughs> oh, to get, to get it on the way. I mean, you have to. Yeah, to oh, travel well, dude. God. Gotta travel well. Did you, did you get a? Uh, did you get priority too? Straight to you. Well. You're worth it. You're worth yeah, it. Yeah, we did. Me and Yaman yesterday, Sergio, we did um 
Oh, I had breakfast in the morning. But from the time Yaman came, we did Wendy's before the Rose Bowl, uh, Chinese during the Rose Bowl, <laughs> and then Baskin Robbins during oh, the game. Oh, my that. word. Yeah, it was tough. By was the way, Yaman, by your theory, if it's the last day of 2023, then the play of the year was actually the play of the year. You know, like yesterday, I'm talking to Cole uh, Cutsy about, about the games, and I go, he's like, I'm all in on Michigan. He goes, my guy says it's his game of the year. And I was like, Cutsy, it's January 1st. <laughs> How'd that turn out, Yaman? He goes, well, that's fine, but you got 364 days and no more games of the year. <laughs> that was it. This is game of the year. January wow, 1 is game of the year. <laughs> and it hit. It hit. Yeah. Guy had his game of the century uh, the day it struck 12 on 2000. You just ignore the guy? You just ignore every pick he makes for the rest no, of the No, no, it was it won. It was a good pick. No, I know, but like at this point, point the game of the year was on J the ball dropped into the game of the year. I know what you want me to tell you, man. I gave you a winner. Mm. Winners, winners win. <laughs> you know, when I said that, when I said that, I realized that, and I was just hoping you would just not realize that. Uh, but normally, it would have slid right by me, but by somehow, him. I, yeah. <laughs> all lots gets by me, FP, including who Action Bronson is, because I have no idea. That's <laughs> mind blowing, dude. Yeah. Cutsy's gonna come to the next round though, just like rapping Action Bronson, like he's just gonna be like, <laughs> has, a, has a cooking? Doesn't he have a cooking show? You know, like, oh, that yeah. guy! Yeah, that guy's on Netflix or something. He's a yeah. white dude with that looks that raps. You just yeah. just yeah. Picture picture up a picture of him. Yeah, I know. I saw the picture. I had no idea. But then when you talked about the food thing, then it it made sense. But I couldn't he's tell in, you one song he's he in, sang. He's in that fucking the Pete Davidson movie, The King of Staten Island, for about ten seconds. He walks out ticket. You know what I'm talking about. He's in the the Pete Davidson movie. He walks out. And he's just like dying for five seconds. That's my whole story. <laughs> well, that's tough. well, so Bob, how would you hand? Because I need tips. How would you handle getting an apartment with with Binyamin for two weeks, two to four weeks? What would be? I thought your it was a month. Now it's two weeks. Well, it's it's two to four weeks. We don't know yet. You you <laughs> just gotta you gotta be uh, at peace and okay with just being quiet for a while. Like you gotta be able to give him spurts where you just don't say anything. I to can't him. do that. That puts him in a real good spot. Like he's gonna give you the times where it'll be a fucking blast. Like when he's going off and if he's angry like that, but you have to give him his spurts where you just don't say anything and be okay with that because he's okay with that. For how long, Bob? It goes long, dude. He'll kind of let you know when he's ready to start talking again. Cause we then <laughs> yeah, we we had a situation, not a situation, but I uh, we we um we were driving. What did we do? We were driving home. Where? Who, what? What happened recently that was just like this? Because you, you were a big me, wave. You told me that. Um, yeah. I never knew this. You guys said to me, "You're like, oh yeah, like sometimes you just can't talk to him. You just like let him." I thought everybody was like that. Like I love. There's nothing I like more than dead air. Like so. <laughs> so when we were when we were uh, we played with Big Wave Dave. We were on the golf. Me and Yama spent the last two weeks together every single day. We played with Big Wave Dave, and we were leaving the course. And, you know, it was a long day of golf. We were getting ready to come back, and it was like a little over an hour drive. And I said to Jet, like, I can't sit in the front. Like, I don't like sitting in the front seat. Um, and I was like, you're going to have to take the reins on the conversation. Like, you're going to have to anchor most of the conversation. He's like, all right, whatever, that's fine. He went into the front seat, and, like, Big Wave is talking to him. And, like, he's just giving him nothing. Like Jet just didn't have anything for him. So I'm in the back. I'm like, I'm going to let him ride. And there was just nothing. So I had to really start chirping in. But Big Wave turned to him at one point. He's like, Jet, like what's what's wrong or whatever. And Jet's like, this is me, Wave. This is me. <laughs> well, he said, I didn't realize. Like I thought that the golf, like we played golf for four hours. I got all my words out then. Like the car ride back, I, I was just like, you know, trying to enjoy my, you know, the silence that I enjoy. Um, but everybody Jeez. likes to talk like everybody, like even every car ride we're in together, everybody just wants to talk. Sometimes you just got to sit there. You know, we I'll did that for lunch. I took him out for lunch and we were sitting at Tatsu and like, he just didn't say a word. And like, <laughs> I'm eating the fucking ramen and I'm like sitting there and I'm like, so, you know, like, you, I only know what to say so much. And then he just kind of look at me and then he'd be like, what? And I'd be like, Oh geez, man. So we, 
we essentially ate ramen in silence. I don't I don't get enough credit because the truth is when I like when I bring it, I bring it to, to in like an like a level of like a high level. So you gotta, you know. You I so, imagine it's so gonna be a lot why do we have to just why does everybody just have to talk at all times? Like what's whatever happened to silence? Come on, dude. I, I imagine living with you is going to be like, you know, when you go to the zoo and you're psyched to see the lions, but whenever you go see the lion exhibit, they're in the cave all sleeping <laughs> and they will come out and you just want them to come out, but you can't force them to come out. They're going to come out when they want to come out. And mm -hmm. I'm going to have to treat it that way. <laughs> that's not, that's like exactly. That's that a great correct. analogy, Dick. That is exactly correct. But like. <laughs> We're not, but we're yeah. also. I feel like we're just going to be like it'll be easier because we're just going to be like working ah, in the that same bear's place. laying on its tummy too with its ass. <laughs> <laughs> dude, he's in that this is, with his this is, ass up, dude. This is a <laughs> bang job of the highest degree. It's all true, but it's bang job. Um, I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good for work. I do think what you're saying is correct. Like you're not if you're expecting like us to have these like long winded conversations at all times of the day. It's just not going to happen. No, but yeah, but I will say though, but what you'd say was like, when you're on, you, it's, it's the best. There's nothing better than when you're on. It's the best thing in the world. True. Joey, right. D, Joey D on a gummy. <clears throat> Binyamin when he's on Joey D on a gummy. Binyamin when he's on, that's the best, sure. the best. Joey D on a gummy is pretty special. You know, it's low key is a lot of fun movie. on a gummy is FP. We've only seen it a couple times, but FP on a gummy is a blast. That's a fun ride. <laughs> I like that guy a lot. And then, then that's when the orders are never bigger because we all just go to town. We all sure. go to town. What was it? Really Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. We we had some big ass orders. <laughs> we did we did like the Kentucky fried chicken and pizza, mm. like back to back. Remember that? Yeah, the I also piece? a lunch. Yeah, yeah. we did. I gave, and we did bagels too. <laughs> I gave Poppy and FP a bang job that same day, just a few few hours earlier. Oh. But, but immediate hand up accountability. What? It's like it didn't happen. It's all gone yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, that's a good. Remember when I banged you guys on yeah. that IG oh, post? Yep, yep. Tummies. Yeah. Oh, Tummy yeah, come oh, on, oh, right. no the the yeah. belly the yeah. belly boys. Belly yeah. boys. Yeah, the belly boys. <laughs> it's, it's, it's in numbers. This is a great post. Now, great post. Oh, God. Tick, um, Joe did mention, not to put on your spot, but I am curious. Are you now in shredding season? Because you talked about getting the biggest that you've ever gotten in 2023. And um, <laughs> that, that seems to be accomplished. 2024 is the time now. <laughs> I mean, from what, from what they're, they're saying. Is it now? Is it 2024 shred season? Yeah, I treated it much like uh, January 2 is when it started, which is today. Uh, I've not gotten in the gym yet, <laughs> but, I'm, but I'm, eat, I'm eating a lot healthier. I, I've been saying no to some shit that I in the past wouldn't say no to. No Postmates orders. It is day one. Um, so I'm starting by eating healthy. Lord knows this trip, I'm not going to get to the gym once. But I'm, I'm moving in the right direction. We're yeah, starting, we we're starting the year with a trip. It's it's we gotta we gotta buckle. Yeah, the fuck. Wait, wait till Mister Stuby gets his paws oh, on you geez. there. T. It's gonna take a lot. Oh, wait, Bob. I, I think I'm in the right mindset to do it. I really, Bob. I, is I, FP... I will say LA. LA is a little. Mm. LA is a little bit better. It, we we really have an issue when we're like all on the road and we're in an Airbnb. Scottsdale. That's Lock when in. things get ugly. When we're, you guys are still in your elements. You're at home, right? Yeah. I mean, Bob and I, I it's that. a, it's an issue. But like, it, 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 this isn't the worst types of trips. Well, the Scottsdale back-to-back -back trips should be, those should be interesting because we got fifteenth <laughs> to the nineteenth, and then we got a whole week for waste management. That's gonna be. It's gonna be really. I was gonna hurt. That one, <laughs> Nick, it's kind of it's kind of one of those things like, you know, when you say you're going to do something, but it's so far out that you don't really think too much about it, you know, and then like the day finally comes like I do that. Jed even told me that I do that and I, I get it where I, I'll say yes to things when I don't really want to do it. And then it comes up and then I'm like, 
fuck. Like I've I've definitely fallen victim to that multiple times. I didn't think 2023 was ever going to end. It was a right. movie, man, and I, it was a movie I didn't want to. End. <laughs> and uh, I'm 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 in a I'm in a I'm I'm worried, especially after this conversation. Dude, these trips, I don't know what I'm going to do. Dude. He's right, actually. When we're all in an Airbnb or a hotel and we get those group orders, those vicious, <laughs> poisonous, <laughs> no together. <laughs> I don't know what nobody I'm do. nobody fills up like a kitchen counter island better than we do, bro. <laughs> yeah. If you have an island in your fucking kitchen, it is stacked with bags when we're in there. Just all we do everywhere. is just push our last meal <laughs> to the side. <laughs> and we just flip. It's like a fucking conveyor belt. A fucking <laughs> A trough. Like, yeah, we don't clean it. We just fucking throw it over here. <laughs> we just find little areas to stick to. The most appalling thing I've ever seen was when we were on our last trip and Jet went to go in for his fries and he grabbed the wrong fry, grabbed the fry from last night instead of the fry that had just came in. So he grabbed the cold fry instead of the <laughs> It was one of the most despicable moments I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> oh, somebody so saw fun. um on so that fun. last on that last post that would jet, jet did the uh you know the LeBron. So people were commenting on seeing the table and what was what was going on on that table, and people bad. were like genuinely concerned. Like they were they were messaging in the comments, like these guys have problems. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be better. Hey, 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 be hey, hey! For all the twenty twenty three. You think we will be better? <laughs> What's that? Uh, Will we be better? Will we be better? Hey, Tick, you I'm gonna lean on you a lot. Let's be better. We, yeah, yeah, you know what? I you know think, what, Tick, um, you could start with when Bob goes to for his runs in the morning. Tick, you can go with him. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I'm gonna really, really cheat. I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking. I'm wow. Gonna do it. I'm going to do. It. I'm going to do it. I. I I think we're going to make an honest effort to really, really trim it down. I think, um, I think this is the time to do it, and I think we just got to. <laughs> <laughs> I missed this. I dude. think from like what I see in the comments, I think some people are getting like pissed at how fat we're getting. Like some people are like actually like angry about it, dude. It's also all we talk about. Oh, yeah. We don't talk about anything else other than how fat we are. Yeah. Well, we talk about sports. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. We, do. <laughs> we talk about guys who do work out and do well with their body. I mean, we're just talking about the opposite of what we do. do no, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. And think um, Texas would have won last night if we were their O-line? <laughs> <laughs> they might have had a better shot. Yo, that was that was a disaster. A catastrophe, some would say. Not In for what not, sense? not No, not for Texas. Horns down. But for um, – but for um, – yeah, there you go, FB. There you go. Anybody else? Um, <laughs> Let me see them horns down, Joey. Dude. One more. Yeah, I like Texas. Why That's am I Horns down, down accountability. Horns down. All right, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Um, Like the, the coaching and the officiating and Washington blowing that game almost when they were up the whole – stop doing that. When they were up the whole time, is, is it's a disaster. We need some changes. Starting with, just I thought you had Washington with the. Point. I have a few rules that I've come up with now. One, no punt returns. I, yeah, there is. Okay, we're not doing punt returners anymore. If, if if I'm coaching, there's no punt returners. That's number one. The amount what of like punt punts, scare catch everything. You, you try to block everything. No, no punt. There's nobody back there. We're not putting guys back there anymore. All they Why do no? is muff punts because all they do is muff punts. There were two muff punts in the Michigan game. That guy at the end almost blew the entire game. If he's not yeah. back, it doesn't happen. Okay, that's that would have ruined my game of the year. Correct. Correct. <clears throat> Your game in twenty twenty three. Yeah, yeah. It's really yeah. about if you want to give up. Like, what are what is the odds? Not the odds. What is the difference between returns that go for like more than like thirty yards versus like muffed punts or punts that go backwards? It can't be that crazy. So one, no punt returners. Two, the cornerback's going to start turning around when that ball's in the air. Tick knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then there was a third one that happened last night that we that we that we forgot about that I forgot about. That game was over. 
it was over until it wasn't. And I'll be honest with you. I thought, I think, I don't know how you guys felt. I, it felt like Texas was going to win that game at the end there. Like it was just inevitable that we were just watching it in slow motion that Texas was going to score. Well, there was a way I had I had Washington with the points and then I hedged with Texas money line. If if they would have won, I would have hit everything. It's the Jets. Special. They would have they won many. by one. Jet, I did it. You, I, 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 yeah. I would have gotten them. I would have hit the middle because I had Washington with the points, and then I, I was so in on Washington that I just hedged so that if Washington lost, I wouldn't lose everything. But then there was a way when it came to the end, I was like, oh my god, if Texas Texas wins, they win by one point. I'll I'll hit both. And that's that, that um, middle ground that Jet loves. I, I love that middle ground as well. Michael, um, <laughs> I like it on over unders. I like an, a nice over, like a nice a nice over at the start, and then they just score a shit ton of points, and yeah. then catch them like a very high under. Yeah. <laughs> that middle ground, yeah, baby. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Michael Penix Jr. currently in his eleventh year in college is unbelievable. There's going to be guys in 2036 that are going to be saying it's their COVID year. Like the COVID year gave people another five to six years of eligibility. And it's never going to slow down. You would think by now the COVID year is just about over. Once Will it gets Shipley to is officially done. For confirmed? I don't know. I would <laughs> hope so. I doubt it. <laughs> when you guys told me. When you guys told me, I think at the Texas game, the fact that Will Shipley's still in college is un... I thought you guys were joking with me. That was at the Texas game, right? I thought he played played with Colt McCoy, dude. That was Will Shipley. I thought he played with Colt McCoy. Will Shipley's Clemson. Clemson, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You redshirt your freshman and sophomore year. Then you play four games. Then you play four years. You hit the transfer portal. You get a worldwide pandemic, and you can play a few more years. I think you guys are going to have just the day-to-day games ticking and yams. Just you guys are going to have so much fun watching all the games together and everything. Like that—that that will be the beauty of you guys living together. That's the we'll also be working a lot, Bob. Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean they can't watch the games. What games? They're going to watch NBA games. Oh, this is <laughs> worst, worst, time by the way. Right? When this when this college football ends and the NFL ends, you enter no man's land of yeah. hockey and hockey. Hockey playoffs are NBA. great. Well, you get yeah, hockey playoffs back. are okay, but the in between when it's still regular season hockey and like mid season NBA. Yeah, and, yeah. And then but like, that's when golf golf comes back. <laughs> golf comes back, but you don't have it every day, no. and, the, and the first tournaments kind of stink. And then baseball comes back for the summer. Oh, Joe, are you still, Joe, are you still committed to taking two weeks off after the NFL season ends from gambling? I was actually going to take a week off when I moved to Florida. Well, the NFL still we're talking of, off of gambling. No, but I'm just – listen, I, 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 I've been doing tremendously well. So, like, I, I right now, like – you know, when you're on a heater, you just gotta let it ride. But yes, to, uh, FBI, I will, I will take some time off. Yes, once everything's said and done. Right now, I'm, I'm like a fucking, I'm when like uh, on the He's ninth. Coming up. He's coming there, up on the ninth. I fly you, to Florida on the ninth. Are you prepared to stake like our rep, stake our claim there based off of the your? Point. Well, here's the thing: is I don't know where anything is there. Jupiter, West Palm, Palm Beach Gardens, it's all the same to me. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I people are like, where you live? I'm like, I, I don't know. Jupiter, West Palm, Palm Beach. I'm just, now, apparently, there's a Publix right across from me, Jet. So mm-hmm. that will be, uh, that will be well, something so, I'll be yeah, checking if you, out. If you, if you have four hours, you can get a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> they just got to get you some more chicken tenders. I, I, I actually have a good spot. I hope that, like, you know, you guys know that the uh, – I'm, I'm going to have a brand new bed, mattress, everything for the guest room. So if anybody wants to come and visit, there's no more futon. You know, you guys are welcome to to, to come and stay at a couple nights. Not, not nice. two Level weeks. Up. Not two, three weeks, but a is couple the, nights. Is the brand new bed in the guest room or yes, is yes, the yes. old yes. bed in the – okay. Well, I'm taking the I'm taking the frame of the of the, of the of my bed right now, the frame. I'm getting all new pillows, mattress, everything so that it will be brand new. I, I so think you, the guests deserve a nice, nice bed. You, you have two bedrooms and an office. 
Yeah, it's like sixteen hundred square or fifteen oh. or sixteen hundred square feet. It's big. Damn. Bro. I gotta buy all new furniture. I gotta buy a car while I'm down. There. By the way, I, FP, like that, I need some suggestions for a vehicle when I'm down there. I think you were saying Jeeps. I don't know if I'm it's a Jeep fun. guy, but I was I was looking at the X5. <laughs> Thoughts on that? The BMW that, guy. I, I don't know. I don't know what kind of guy I am. I've been a Jaguar, Mitsubishi Eclipse, you're Toyota, you Tundra. Tundra. You, you had an Eclipse guy. I had an Eclipse. That 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 I that I believe. I had a truck. I had a Toyota truck Tundra. Is, you're a truck guy. You're Are a truck you a car, car guy? Truck I know guy. nothing. Nothing about car. People like list cars left and right. I know nothing. Then there are some people. I feel like the tick. I feel like you know everything about you, cars. You, you know a thing or two about Range Rovers. Oh yeah, oh, I know. Damn, oh, yeah. you got it like I know that. Yamin. Hey, hey Yamin, it's, it's, you could uh, you could write it off. It's overweight. I know that that's what makes a Subaru <laughs> a Subaru, and that's it. Those are the two I know. Damn, the Range no. Rover. I think is one of the vehicles that they're overweight. So you could technically write off the payments. Have you ever owned a car, Jet? Was, have, was there ever? Have you ever had a car? He never drove a car. He had a long. He doesn't own, like own. to drive. Don't say that. Not, not, not my. You never, you never had a car. No, I, I never had my own. Like that, yeah. I own like my own car now. Wow. But he wants a Range Rover. Big decision. Well, that's, I'm not getting a Range Rover. I'll tell you, I started looking at cars though. Like for I really started, in Florida, we're all going to need cars. What oh. were you looking at? I would love to see what the search looks like. Just a. Whoa. Um, just an old school Jag, maybe. Oh. I was looking at like old, like old, like um Mercedes, like the little sedans. That's oh. what I mean. with, with that stash you could pull off an old Mercedes. Coupe? I just want a little sedan that goes fast and that's it. I don't need anything else. You should with get yourself stash. something loud, some old American muscle. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> you get a Chevelle. An El Camino. Oh. <laughs> El Camino. You, you could be an El Camino guy. I don't even know. I don't even – I have to look that up. All I know about yeah. El Camino is that – El Camino is nice. That's how fucking Jesse Pinkman you got You can get anything besides a van. Don't get a van. Yeah, with that stash, a van would be tough. That was a good one, but that was he could. Good. Yeah, don't don't give out candy in a van. Hilarious. My only yeah. thing is, if you get a van, you got to get a merle on the side of it with like a wizard or something. I'm sorry, did you say a merle? <laughs> yeah, like a painting. Uh, uh, a merle. A mural. A mural. Did you Joey, sell it, Jack? Joey D. I'm getting... giving it to my brother. You're giving hey, it to your brother. That's nice of you. Yeah, yeah. Every once in a while, I do the right thing. All right, folks, let's um let's transition a bit here. We are now gonna head on into our Callaway Cut segment brought to you by none other than Callaway. To the Callaway Cut we go. Joey Cold Cuts versus the Forest. Oh, boy. Xander oh, just, just gets banged. Yeah, I get banged so bad in you these. You do. My eye was already bad, Bob. Oh, wow. In oh, is this watching it with rum? Yeah, this is not going to be good. And, yep. Shank <laughs> somehow ended up in a better spot. Shanked it. Xander loves Still it. Still in the Forest. Shanked it. <laughs> good Canadian boy shouldn't use that language, though. Oh, oh no. It's oh, funny too because I know them. Mr. Like I've played I've that. played golf with them and we played in pro am Did you finish the help? He's getting frustrated. <laughs> you can see it in his face. FP was it? FP straightforward. Oh, it's always FP's shot. great shots of my blow ups. You know oh yeah, the kiss of death. Well, and then the channel. Open. I'm just nowhere okay, to be found. Yeah. Which is, <laughs> I'm said he's here, like, Bob, what are you doing? I, uh, I'm nowhere to be found. Oh my! Yeah. Oh man, was that a two v one? Yeah, it was. Surprising. Sure, it was. The dumbest thing ever. What are we doing here? And there it is. Yeah. <laughs> I like the euro step like, behind the back dunk. Like nobody ever does yeah, that. Yeah, that was that one. That is, I, I can't pull that, that off. Loves tacos and Only a man like him can pull that off. Oh, oh, no. There it is. The major. Oh, Joey boy. versus the forest too. Here we go. Joey, they're picking on you today, buddy. I feel bad for you. Yeah, Pick thank you, Adam. Point, Sasquatch or something. Oh my god, I lose my shit here. <laughs> Did you lose the ball? Oh no. <laughs> Joey, you gotta watch this language, buddy. That's, that's oh, no. poor Canadian of you right there. Oh. We're a little nicer than that. Fudge. 
fudge. <laughs> That's what we say. My mom was gonna love Adam. Hit him out of, well, trying to hit out of yeah, she will. To be fair, he is a better golfer than this. Oh, but there's oh, also a little bit of this in the game sometimes. That's not. Nice. <laughs> you guys just grabbed in there. Maybe poison ivy or something. Poison ivy. Standard club. Battery and us. That's no way to treat a Callaway club. <laughs> That's messed up. Jeez. Oh, we're changing clubs. <laughs> yes, of course. There you go. <laughs> You guys hear what he's saying on this thing right now? This is fucking Ferngully. Oh my god. Let's go back home to Vancouver and we'll work on this, okay? All right, thanks. should be better than this. Growing up in Vancouver. All right, go. We have another running video? Running. <laughs> I call this a jog, but I'm pretty oh, sure no. it's just a quick speed walk. Yeah, yeah that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Took a drop out of the hazard. Come on, good shot. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Yeah, that's a good shot, oh, right? Except right? <laughs> for on the burners. And oh, Perez no. trying to run. Come on, the way, attempt, anyway. Maybe I'm trying. I'm trying. Finish or something like that. The fact that he makes that is crazy. Who is this guy? Oh. Who is this guy? Oh. You should be on the U.S. National Ryder Cup. Oh. 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 oh, here now it is. Now go. No, that's not what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> FP in the clutch. Oh, this is this huge. Is really my no favorite pots. Please, of Bob please. or Cole Cuts oh, doing anything cool. I'm a, can I request some FP bloopers next time? It's only good shots. What's the fun of that? <laughs> Is this their day job? You know? this their day oh job. man, I'm just not jumping at all. That's a weak attempt at a jump. <laughs> you know, you guys just mentioned what it goes through a lot of our, you know, us players' minds. You just voice it. Cause yeah, because you can. Pretty much. Welcome That's to right. YouTube. There you go. Yeah. I don't know if you can see this, but to end on that kind of ruins the video a little bit. But what what, what was it? There was okay. a picture of his face and his face zoomed in. Oh, damn, no one. Damn. No, they're awesome. I, I really, damn. I really enjoy spending time with them and, and playing with them. They're great. She's awesome. Oh, Madeline's oh, Madeline, the best. Madeline, what a Madeline's lovely, the lovely lady. That's fantastic. Wow. Wow. We really. What a circus, man. What an absolute circus. It, it feels so much worse when you're watching people watch those moments. Yeah. Well, in my case, because it's so outrageous. Yeah, and banged you. Yeah. Uh, you get why he does it. Like, well, you send the clips. Tough. You banged them. Yes, yes. I it's the best banged. clips. But it was, you know, it's content. Also, Benny Adam Hadwin is the most polite guy of all yeah, time. He he's Canadian. And he's the wonderful polar guy. Polar opposite of, of, not that you're not polite. In I'm terms a lovely of, individual. I treat everybody with just kindness, like, respect. Yeah, in terms oh. of how brash you are and the cursing, and he's just like a nice Canadian man, and he just can't, I, you know. I, I didn't always curse like this. This has just been when did built it start? up over years of just frustration. Sure. And, and by the way, I never, I never, when I'm when I'm at home, I never swear like in the presence of my parents. Very rarely. I, I, I do want you to start saying fudge though on the court. Yeah. That Sugar. Just bring a fudge one time. <laughs> you imagine? That'd be hilarious. Ladies and gentlemen. That's a Galloway cut. All right, folks. There you have it. Galloway cut there. And, fellas, can I get a little bit of a drum roll here, please? We now head on over to the par three poppy for our Q&A segment of the show. Poppy, take it away, pal. All right, first question of the Q&A comes from The Will Crump. He wants to know, uh, if you were to build the ultimate golfer using only BDS people, and you have to include everyone at least once, what would that look like? Great question, dude. That's a good question. Very good question. I mean, FP, I almost think you should be the one to take that away. I think you would know better uh, than us. I think we take Joseph's uh, driver, right? I think when Joseph's driver is on, that's a that's that's the best driver we got in the group. Um, I think we, um, I, I do when I, I think Bob putting like when he's putting well, he's he's pretty deadly, especially especially ten feet and in. Um, and then everything else, FP. <laughs> I mean. Irons wedges that that's not a bad Jets attitude, you know, just Jets the attitude. 
that, yeah, fuck it. None of it fucking matters. That's how you win majors, dude. Short, you know, he's like a goldfish out there. And um, yeah, ticket tickets uh, just thirst for life. I think also be would what be what we wow. Would like. Sure. Wow. I like that. By the way, sure, that's, that's sure. Really, good, really good question. Um, <clears throat> I'll be on to the next one. Okay. Um, this one comes from Mick Quillionaire. Uh, your favorite stand-up comedian of all time. This is a timely question with Sebastian Maniscalco coming on the show. Who is your favorite comedian of all time? I think it's best we we're going to exclude Sebastian because obviously Sebastian would be our number one choice. So we're just going to exclude Sebastian. You can't say Sebastian Mascalco. I'll tell you this in a few days, it better be Sebastian. <laughs> um, but for now, uh, I'll, I'll start it off. You guys really got me into Shane Gillis. And then when we went to the mothership in Austin and seeing him live, Tick, you even said to me, that you've never heard me laugh like that. Like that to me was one of the best, but I just recently got on to him. So I would say my number one overall would be Dave Chappelle. That's a good one. That's Two good ones. One. Two really good ones. Yams. Do you like Yaman? Um I I I think my favorite ever is is Bill Burr. Like when I was I used to listen to his stuff all the time, watch stuff. He just kind of he kind of is similar to me. Um, in like his attitude and his, uh, I, I just think he's hilarious. His, uh, his rant, when he goes off on the Philly fans who end up in these in Philadelphia and they start booing him and he turns the entire thing, he just scratches everything else and just goes off on them. Yeah. And then they end up giving him like a standing O after that's one of the best, I think, moments in comedy of all time. <clears throat> that pay, what you got? Nope. Um, I like Gillis a lot, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll shy away from that one. That uh, Bargatze's got me recently. I, I like him a lot. I think he, program. Yeah, he's he's um that humor that he has that kind of dry like deadpan face, just like logic humor. Um, to me is 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 hilarious. He just catches you off guard all the time. I, I like watching him a lot. Moving around the horn, the big ticket. Uh my favorite would be. I think Louis C.K. I mean, he's he's just uh, for a long time. He had a stretch when his show was on FX. I don't know. Maybe it was from like 2009 to like 2017. He was the hottest comedian. It reminded me of Dane Cook when he was on top of the world, too. And I could even oh, pick yeah. that stretch when Dane Cook was on top of the world because I loved him when I was in high school. But I'll I'll roll with Louis C.K. I, I'm, a, I'm a big old fan of his. Uh, Joey D.? Uh, I think Dave Chappelle's very good, but I I'll go with this Bob took Dave Chappelle. I'll go with the guy that I've watched twice live is um Jerry Seinfeld. I, I actually but if you actually go to his uh if you go to his live, like his 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 comedy's fucking funny. He's still got it. He's just gotta kind of dig deep in the tank. But when he was back in the day, like he kind of like really set the precedent for like the everyday bullshit kind of humor of stuff that just happens that nobody everybody takes for granted and i like that i like that now that's in his prime so i think probably the biggest regret of of leaving la is not going to enough stand-up shows i mean yeah. like going to like the laugh factory or anything like that i wish i did more of that and i really didn't i saw dane cook when i went there and i didn't know you could see these type of guys just by showing up on a tuesday or whatever and they're there bill burr's there all the time like i wish i did more of that um take it Let's fire away, baby. Um, next question comes from Frank Leosi. He wants to know, how much money would it take to delete DoorDash from the phones of the boys? Let's say that with that question, no delivery service at, at all, of course. Sure, yeah, Postmates. That's an all, important all. designation. Yeah. Uh, I would have no issue. I mean, pay whatever you want. I'll just get Uber Eats. No big deal. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't cook, so that's the problem is I don't – know how to cook i i don't cook now thankfully like nicole cooks but like every once in a while i gotta give her a break so like it would be up there in terms of the amount of money it's gonna be a high number the convenience of it bob you don't agree can, so, like, can you can you still like get like can you still call a pizza place and get like a, a, a deliver like a no, none of that. You can't have any delivery food at all. 
What oh, about just like, you have, like what about old school like hey I want a pizza so and so I say off the table no delivery oh, service that's at all tough what do you have to pick it up yourself I don't think I would survive like I think I'd just be dead <laughs> Yeah Jen has like, no car too so that But I don't think we just we rely I, like even like not like everything is ordered now whatever the fuck it is Jen if somebody offered you uh, one point five million dollars tomorrow for one year of no delivery. Yeah, yeah, I would do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you would survive. You would survive. Yeah, because I did one point five hundred grand. Hundred grand, you would do. I would do hundred grand. Yeah. I would. <laughs> you would do hundred grand, FP. I wouldn't. He's got to think about it. Twenty twenty four. Tick. Tick. You got to be shredded. I, a hundred grand, I, 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 honest to God, would would not do it. That's that crazy to me. Wait, I, I wouldn't Tick, do it. Are, you, Tick, are you serious? If you were given a hundred thousand dollars for no delivery at all, you wouldn't do it. Are you saying for one year or the rest of my life? For the rest one of my year, life, one, one year, one year, one year. Ooh, it's close. Ooh, Tick, I, I really I one don't of the think more. I, would. I really don't think one, I would. One fifty. One fifty. One fifty. Sure. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Can you, can you get in like a car and go to the place and get the of food course. and come home? Of course. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So do so get a hundred K and then do that. Tick, I think if that deal was actually offered to you, you'd have a hard time saying no to that. Jeez. Oh, uh <laughs> I honestly I'm telling the truth. It's not about I really don't know for a hundred if I would do that. I don't Tick, know. There was a long stretch where Ticket never had delivery services available because they didn't exist. So you've done it before. I've been doing Postmates since about 2014. <laughs> That's about 10 years. You just want me to erase 10 years of whole lifestyle? That's a how whole much you think, of life. How much do you think you spent on Postmates in 10 years? Oh, oh easily, no, I'm, easily I'm, 30 grand. Easily. Oh, it's more than that. You think uh, it's more than that? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, really uh, low. 10 years? In nine years? Bob has spent thirty grand in a year. <laughs> Tick, I'm thinking like a hundred. The first grand five grand. years weren't all three meals of my day, though. It's become that. But it, <laughs> the first five years were just you, a, have you know. To, it's like 10, that would be ten k a year. I I think it's closer to a hundred k. Holy, oh, that's impossible! I mean, you're spending you're spending forty bucks a pop, right? A meal, and you're doing that three a times meal? a day. That's one hundred twenty dollars a, a day. Thirty to forty a pop. Yeah, that's maybe. thirty-six thousand bucks a year. Oh, more. A pop. I think that's 30, actually more. That's like three hundred sixty thousand. I just no it's yesterday. <laughs> I damn dude. How much did this you spend yesterday, Bob? How much did you spend yesterday? Five six seven eight nine. <laughs> three hundred and twenty dollars yesterday. But that's yeah, for two people, that, though. That's for two. Yeah, but yeah. Do you think Yaman offered to Venmo me? You think I'll <laughs> give you half of that? You think that? I'm trying, you think to, that I'm trying to hat tip. Don't I'm trying to hat tip, and I've been trying to hat tip. Yeah, yeah. dude. Ticket, that you think is alarming. Ticket, you think you're 250 meals this year, this past <clears throat> year on Postmates? Yeah, but I mean, yes, but I would say that some of them were taken care of through through us. I'd say on my own. I'm, I'd say I'm right around two, 220, 200, 225 meals probably this year. What did you do the other 160 days? <laughs> you, were, <laughs> you, it was you ordering McDonald's. And, and, and <laughs> yeah, it's not, yeah, it's, 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 it's more ball. days than not, and some days twice, right? It's yeah. 300 meals. Okay, oh, yeah. Three. It's probably at 40, 40 at 40 bucks a pop. That's that's twelve thousand dollars. That's twelve thousand bucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm probably close to a hundred then in 10 years. You're probably right. Holy probably, shit. Probably. So you know what? If I take that hundred K for one year, I've 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 purchased everything. It's all it's a you're clean. Right clean. I'm clean taking the hundred. You're right. Yeah, when you're rich in your money. Are... You're like Walter White. Yeah. True, <laughs> true. true. All right. Uh take a look. Let's rip another That is tip. scary, Bob, when you look at how much, like if you look at how much you spend in a month, 
Like, I'm scared to look at mine because every once in a while, I'll throw a banger in for Nicole and I. I'll do like a $200 John and Vinny's meal. And I'm not even counting those normally. Those are like the big bangers. Like, the average meal is like 50 to 60 bucks. There's like, a reason Postmates isn't giving you that number, man. McDonald's, McDonald's on Postmates will be like 20 to 30 dollars. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I, 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 I almost never order via the apps when I'm home. Really? Like, <laughs> never. No. Uh-uh. Not, wow. Why is that? Because I don't, I like leave, like I leave my house and I like go pick it up. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like I go. I go to like my office or I go play golf. Like I go and do things and I'll, and I'll pick up food or I'll eat food out. I'm not saying I'm cooking. That's not, don't, don't get, but it even, twisted. even in I'm the not, winter, I don't, now, I don't drive just, like order food to the house, but even in You're the right winter here. now, Ethley? yeah, I mean, it's not like it's, it's not like it's a like fucking, it's not polar. <laughs> it's bears out there. Yeah. <laughs> um, it is. There's there's no like, golf. If, 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 if Ann Cole like goes to dinner with the girls and I'm like, especially lazy, then I'll do it. But that's, I think I did it once over this winter break and I've been home for like two or three weeks. That's good. Really? Epi. Yeah. Epi, how, how many days? I mean, I, look, I'm not eat? going out and eating salads. So like, no, don't congratulate me too much, but how many days a week are you going to the office? Almost every day. Wow. That's dedication. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not like grinding over here. <laughs> I, I thought you were gonna pull out. I thought you were about to pull out like one of these and to show like your work. You pulled out a Swedish fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's, yeah. He's oh, grinding. he's grinding. All right, tech. Fire another. Let's do uh two more. There it is. Okay, two more. Um Teddy Cal wants to know uh what is so special about Ray House? What makes that place so special? We just talked about this. Yeah, Yaman actually said it's Yaman said the other day, what he kind of nailed about is that um the dimming and the lights that they have, it's like the perfect shade of, of dark inside, the way that they dim the lights. Um the atmosphere, of course, is, is the best, and then the food is truly second to none. It, it's just I've never loved a restaurant the way that I, I loved. Rayos and people. A lot of people think I because I post them so much that like I there's some sort of ad deal or something with them. They don't give a shit about doing an ad deal or anything like that, which I appreciate about them. They're so old school. But Yaman nailed it with the lights. They also the, it's the perfect volume. It's always the same murmur. You can you can't hear anybody else's conversation, but it very obvious everybody's having amazing conversation. It's it's the wildest thing. It's always Bob the same loves- amount of people in there. Bob loves the way that they that they that they acknowledge him when he walks in. Like they know him. Tracy, the manager, walks up to the table to check in on how he's doing. That's nice you know, touch. yeah, well, no, I'm that. not saying it's bad, but I'm saying he likes that they know him. When he comes in, they treat him like a regular, like but that's, well, he but is. that's that's hashtag earn not given. I, I understand that, but I think that that's a big thing for Bob. Bob likes that. But he and didn't when Bob like finds it a place like after- when we used to, we used to go to Factors Deli. He wanted to go there every day. He's a creature of habit. So when True. he finds something that he likes, and then they treat him like family, it's the perfect synchronicity into him having a place that he loves. Yeah, I also think too. You're not wrong, Joe. I also think too. One of my favorite things is like they have a perfect like you could go there and like. Yeah, they know us all. Like you go to the game, you go to the bar to watch a game, and they have the perfect amount of coming over to you without doing it too much. Like it's the perfect amount. Of, I'm gonna come in, ball bust with you a little bit. I'm out. Enjoy your dinner. Come back. But like everything about it is just perfect. There's times where I go in and I put in my headphones, and and just. Eat, eat dinner with my headphones on sometimes too. I've made that move a couple times. That's wild. I would maybe. Are you, get a, are you gonna get a, a like a picture on the wall? Nah, dude. Did you ask? That. I'm not gonna ask. It's one of those yeah, things where they gotta. I, I'll tell you this. I gave that place everything that I had. I, I I really did. I gave it everything that I had. I've never 
I never loved the place the way I loved Ray. I was honest. Well, you know, not. I think your cousin Jason's almost taken the baton and run with it now. It's great. I think yeah. he's taken over. I think Jason it's, Berger is yeah. my king. He's my king. <laughs> yeah, everyone's king. He's the one drinking. Don't be going he's like him. He's the best. Yeah. How, How many times him? are you going to go this week? It's your last hurrah. And by the way, we're not filming Sundays, so we're finally going to have a football Sunday with everybody not having ticket is a killer. Um, oh, t- it really is. I would kill for a ticket to be there just for that last. You are going to be there. Ticket is going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Right I'm going to be right there. Not bad. You, you exa- <laughs> yes. I'll tell you this then. I did almost That's not go to your credit. That's true. Joe's going to have his moving day, which I hope. You yeah, get that's going to. S- yeah, I'm going to miss a big chunk of it. If we could get Joe over there as fast as possible to have everybody there for that Sunday, <clears throat> that football Sunday, all together as a group, and then followed up by the night game in Rayos, that will be one of the happiest days I've had in quite like that's my dream day with the that's boys. A good day. It's a damn good day. Yeah. <clears throat> so I, that, want yes, Vito's, so. I want Vito's every day. Yeah, Vito's is. Oh, God, we're so. I'm fucked. not we're getting so in fucked. shape, am I? I I'm. So I'm so just fucked. gonna be. <laughs> I, am. I am. Prez, Prez, Prez is on a war path for Vito's this trip because he's gone long. <laughs> he normally does. He's out for blood on Vito's for this trip. So fucking good, man. <laughs> it's the best. That tortellini is the play when you go to Vito's. That's it the is. play. Yeah. I felt bad when I got that Postmates, Joe. I forgot your tortellini. It felt terrible. No, it was for the best. I didn't need no tortellini. All right, Mr. T, close us down, baby. Last one. All right, last question comes from Grant Nut 24 <laughs> um, Why, why does on. Joey D always think his shot is the best when you guys do a sprint? That's oh. ridiculous. That is honestly, first of all, that's an obnoxious question. Secondly, it's not true. We, we I think sometimes it's been the, the 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 only time when it's true. Sometimes when it's true is if it's like a two man scramble with me and Bob. But we, I never think my shot's the best shot when it's a three man scramble. I just don't. I know it's not because FP has the best shot like nine times out of ten. So that's just it's just that's just a ridiculous question. Wow. He I don't think it's true, Bob. No, I, I you got, look, Joe, you gotta defend yourself. I just didn't see us ending on that. I think part part of the blame I think part of the blame should go yeah, to Poppy man. for team that one. Yeah, you got another like great, positive question we can leave. Great yeah, question. I'm asking the people what they want to know. I'm sorry, uh, I yeah. wish I would be a little more upbeat about it, but I'm just gonna tell how I think it is. There are there are some times where I think I, I here here is what I think it is. I think sometimes I want a little bit like sometimes I think the shot's not as bad as it actually is. So like I just want that acknowledgement that it's not the worst shot. So like I'll like talk up my shot a little bit more, even though it stinks, because I just I've I've been I've been for large chunks of this year in the dumps about my game. And that like Bob knows when you play with somebody and they're like, oh, it's not that bad. It was just a little off. Like it feels a lot better. Than knowing that you just stink, which is the reality of it all. The, the you know last what, part of you this year, go for it. You, you know what Cutsy does that is hilarious. That is like your patented move. It's that it's not that you always think your shot is the best, but when your shot is used, you make sure to acknowledge that. <laughs> so it's like. <laughs> So it's like if you hit – if if Bob hits a drive that's not good, you hit a good drive, FP hits a not good drive, you'll always be like, don't worry, we got mine, guys. And then everybody goes <laughs> – Yeah, because angry. I'll read that's through the true. comments. It'll be like, they didn't use one. I know. I'm just shot. saying. I think it's hilarious. And I'm like, bro, true. I at least got one under my belt. Like, at least got one good shot, Maybe. you know? Yeah, right. I just want to – I just want to block out the haters, Joe. I just want to have fun There's with There's a lot friends, of them. Yeah, I just yeah, want to have fun with my friends. Joe, I want to get fat with my friends. You know I mean? <laughs> channels you could step into, that would be a lot more haters. And we got it good, man. We got it really, really good. Um, yeah. All right. Action-packed episode. Unpacked a lot. Uh, <laughs> folks, we love you. We appreciate you. That's been another edition of the Bob Just Sports Podcast. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we will see you next week, fellas. See you this week. <laughs>